Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla and today we are in the city of Crater Lake where we are going to be doing something fun today. We're going to be building out a large laboratory in an awesome high density condo residential area and I got a couple really fun ideas. I want to do like a spiral design and I really want to get into some fun landscaping and then um, I've been looking at some real laboratories as in inspiration so I'm excited for everybody to see it. We're also going to be building along our waterfront and then expanding some of our tram network as well. We're going to be connecting the tram network up here to the, the tram network down here. And so it's going to be really great. Let's go ahead and look at what we did on the last episode. And so on the last episode, we built out this awesome ore area with this uh, cargo hub down here with train access. Um, we're still not really getting the industrial in at the moment because our industrial demand is just really not going. And that's really what's kind of leading into our... Um, our residential expansion today and so we're going to be raising our population by about probably 20,000 today just with this high density neighborhood and so I'm pretty excited about it. let's go ahead and jump right in and so the goal for this is that it's a national laboratory connected to our campus which is the Crater Lake Institute of Technology I believe that we named it that even though that says yeah so CI2 Crater Lake Institute of Technology which already has a pretty large technological presence over here they have this um, research center and then the software development studio and so now they have came together and they've decided that they wanted to invest in something bigger and and i think that this is a really great opportunity for crater lake as well i'm um, getting research grants and stuff like that can be really good for the city and in luring academic people to come to crater lake and institute of technology and so i think it's gonna be a really big step forward for the city and so the first thing we want to do is jump in here and we are going to remove all these trees we'll come up here and we are going to level this all out and i think we're going to come up here and choose probably about this height right there and we are going to come all the way down and go like this and it's kind of funny as i was um, testing this out i had some issues i don't know if anybody else has ever had them before i've had them a few times and it always seems to be the same thing where whenever using the level terrain tool you'll get like a glitch where it just won't let you level out at normal speed and every time that i've ever had that happen it always has to do with a broken node somewhere and so if you're playing with mods, you can just open up the broken node detector. And it's funny, the same hotkey is the same as our milestones. And then you just go to broken nodes and it searches around. And then what it does is it will find you any nodes that are not connected properly. And so I had already taken care of it. It was actually a path, a part of our ore area. And the second I deleted it, all of a sudden back to normal. It makes no sense, but I think the game just gets like hung up on the node not being connected properly and so it really just tanks your speed and so um because in my test builds i literally had to level this out very slowly and i was like i'm just gonna have to skip this during the recording and so i'm glad that i didn't have to do that and so now what i'm gonna do is create a little ledge here um i know that i want to continue this road on and we're probably gonna create a nice little uh um, residential area there for people who maybe work at the laboratory and stuff and so we do want to have a couple entrances for this so we're gonna jump into a four unit road and we're going to go to something nice, maybe yeah, four lane decorated or four lane road with trees decorated. And let's actually create a slope in here too, rather than just kind of going, just drowning in the road. So we'll go like right there and then let's come in here now and let's go straight. We'll go like right there and then go there. And I know that I want to curve this road. So I think we'll actually curve this this way and then have it come back and do a nice little design here. I looked at a few national laboratories on uh, Google Maps and quite a few of them have really cool designs. Some of them don't. They're just, uh, you know, it really depends, um, but they're it's a thing. You know, there's laboratories everywhere and I've actually been to cities where laboratories are a really big part of their economy. Um, I know it's pretty much everywhere you go up, like with big universities, but uh, a city in particular that I'm thinking of is Albuquerque. Um, one of Albuquerque's main industries is the laboratories and research centers that they have in the region. And so um, it is a, a really big contributor to the local economy in a lot of ways um, in terms of employment and stuff like that. And so we'll come up here now and then let's go ahead and turn this and we're going to go like right there. And I feel like that's okay. I definitely want to fix up this curve real quick. I feel like that could be better. And there we go. It took a little bit of finagling, but I got it in there. And so now let's come in here and see if I don't break this. I mean, there's a good chance I'm going to. Oh, you know what? That actually worked pretty good. And you know what? I actually like the one with the dirt in the middle. I feel like that looks a little bit better rather than this grass. Yeah, we'll go like that. I think that looks really good. I like that we have this main building in here. 
that was kind of my uh, my objective with that. And so we do need to create a couple really big parking lots. And then what I'm thinking is we want to do multiple campuses. And so um, I have never worked at a laboratory. And so I'm not entirely certain how they're normally broken down. So I'm just going off of aerial views. And so I want there to be a couple levels of research done here. And so what we're going to do is create a couple separate campuses within the same campus. And I think it's gonna be really fun. And so now what I wanna do, let's go ahead and create our parking lots first so we know what we're working with. And then I actually got these lovely security boosts quite a while ago, I don't know if you guys remember, um, but we have a security intelligence agency in the city that we use these for. And so uh, so it looks like you guys are gonna get to visit again. If nobody's checked it out, it actually is kind of cool. It's part of our our government, uh, our, yeah, our, our capital district over here. If you guys haven't checked this out, this is definitely some a really fun build doing this uh, obelisk over here and then i did the museum and a couple state buildings and this huge monument at the top of the city really fun episodes a um, couple episodes we did it but then we also built this intelligence service over here and this actually functions as a police station too and so um, really cool building but i went ahead and this is the reason we're over here is we did this guy right here so i'm gonna go ahead and grab that and let's see what it's called so secure oh it's spelled wrong that's why it wasn't popping up Wow, but it's basically just a little prop, but it has an arm, which I really like. And of course it's not functional, so cars will just uh, drive through it, but I really like the aesthetic of it because this would definitely be a controlled access area. Like you wouldn't just drive in here. You would have to stop and talk to somebody first. And so we're gonna go ahead and put these right here. Yeah, there we go. I feel like that looks pretty good. And ball up, perfect. So we got handicapped parking. We got some nice large parking areas, which I think are fantastic. All right, and so I got some awesome offices off the Steam Workshop. I was looking for more laboratory type stuff, but I really couldn't find anything. I think the only thing I found was one uh, one laboratory. Yeah, this one right here, this Aperture Laboratories. And it actually is a really cool building. I think it's gonna be the one that we placed right here in the middle. I feel like it's nice. I mean, I'm not sure if Aperture Laboratories is a real place or not, but um, I think it's a, it's definitely a cool building. I like the skylight in here. I think it's um, got some great textures. And then I like this one as well. I think we're going to place these around as like a campus. And so what I want to do is go ahead and grab this two unit road right here and we're going to extend it this way. And then what I want to do is jump back in to find it. And let's go ahead and place a couple of these. We're going to go like that. And the goal is for these to be like little compounds, almost like different sectors of the area. And I think it's going to really help us to create a nice fun aesthetic out of this. And so I think we will extend this out further and maybe even do two more. So we'll go like that and let's check and see what kind of buildings these are so oh they're actually hospitals that's interesting wow so these are going to be big hospitals i wonder if they're going to be expensive let's go ahead and turn them off so that we don't end up paying for these that would be a huge cost we want it to just be purely aesthetic um, we really don't get any real function out of it but now what we'll do is come in here and we're going to go ahead and place a couple more yeah we'll go like that look at that i think that is just fantastic i like it i think it looks great i love the details on it too I think these ones look great. I love little planters in the front. And so basically these would just be four, uh, four buildings related to the same thing. And we could honestly even grab them and mush them together. So we'll go like that. I feel like that even makes a little bit more realistic. So instead of them being separate buildings, they're just one big building that have multiple entrances and to save money. They designed them the same way. Maybe we could even go like that. Yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Line up the tops. Nice. All right, and so now what I wanna do is go ahead and design something over here as well. So we're gonna come up this way. Let's go ahead, maybe we'll actually turn it. So we'll come like this. And so I do want to use the research center and I know we've used it before. So we're actually going to just turn it into a prop. So we're gonna grab this guy and I'm just gonna turn it into an object. I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna plop it down and then I'm gonna jump in here and I'm just gonna copy it. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's really gonna help fill up this whole area. And so we are going to go like that and let's go ahead and grab both. And I wanna turn it that way. So let's see how that looks. It actually looks really good. And I think we'll add in a nice entrance in here. Let's go ahead and put in a small one unit road. So we're gonna come in here and let's go ahead. We could even do a two unit road. I think that could be good. So let's go ahead and go like right here. Yeah, there you go. Nice. I think that looks really cool. I like that it goes underneath like that. Yeah, I think that is fantastic because what we could do as well is just a small parking lot. 
So maybe we'll go ahead and do that. We'll have this big parking lot for any visitors and then we'll sprinkle around some smaller parking lots as well for administration or workers, stuff like that. Perfect. I think that looks good. And then I think we're going to add in a couple little paths in here to make it look really cool. And so let's jump back in there and see what else we got. So we got medical laboratory. That's what we placed. So it looks like those are the same. And it's so funny. I am. Um, I didn't. I completely forgot that these were actually a part of the high tech buildings content creator pack, the medical lab. It's just it's underneath the medical tab in the content creator pack. So we actually want to place down one of those. And that's why it functions as a hospital, because it actually is a hospital. And so. Uh, maybe we'll just keep one of those there and it will uh, so it says biochemists and pathologists analyze clinical samples and groups of patients while creating new types of pharmaceutical medicine that is just fantastic so this is our medical wing over here which is just great and then this is our like research center so maybe this is even medical as well um so now let's jump in here and let's go over to office and see what other kind of awesome buildings i got so we're gonna go like this so I got this one, which I think is just a fantastic building. Let's go ahead and place that right there and see how that looks. You know what? I think that looks great. And I think this is going to be a unique building. Ooh, it's actually an office and it provides a ton of employment. So 60. Let's see if this one does too. So this one's actually um, a, a unique building, which is kind of cool. Um, but this one is an office building and a very large one at that 100 jobs, which I think is great. And so now let's go in here. We got a couple skyscrapers. I don't think we're going to do any tall buildings. All of the all of the buildings that I looked at, none of them are not all the laboratories I looked at. None of them are really tall like that. And so I don't think we're going to do that. Um, we do have these awesome little eco offices. I wonder if we could make a couple little rows back here. I do want to also do storage for stuff as well, like general warehouses within these, um, within the laboratories. And so I do want to provide some of that access. Maybe we'll actually have this swoop down and then turn. So let's come in here now, and then we'll go back over to that other section because I want to make sure we put this in first. So let's come in here. And I wonder if we can just have this go this way without it looking weird. So maybe if we go like that and then go like that, you know what, that actually looks kind of interesting. And so uh, I think it, it keeps a nice level of interest in there now. And so what we're gonna do is come in here. Let's go ahead and place these back here. And then I got some tanks as well, which they are oil tanks, but we're actually going to disable them because I, I don't want them to uh, have access like that. I want them to just be storage. And so now what we're gonna do is come in here, grab that and copy it, place it again, go like that. Yeah, perfect. And then let's go ahead and set these buildings up so let's grab it we're gonna go to none we're just gonna turn it off we're gonna do the same thing over here we're gonna go like that we're gonna go ahead and turn this off as well we do not want to import stuff and so now let's see if we can fit in one more of these this would just be fantastic if we could Ooh, it's gonna be close i wonder if we can just move that back and then let's go ahead and move this one back too yeah we'll go like that and then I think we will add in a small path in here. So let's go in here. Perfect. Look at that. So now it looks like, I mean, it's actually utilized. So I think that looks really good. And I like the aesthetic of it. And so now let's jump back over here that we, now that we place that and go back into offices. So, and let's see, I really like those eco offices. I like this one as well. I just got this one. I just, I don't know if it's, I think it's too big. So let's go ahead and place that and see how that looks. So that actually looks really interesting. I wonder if we could do like some sort of compound back here. So if we if we do that building, would it be still look good if we go? So let's see what other buildings we have. We got some really awesome office buildings. Ooh, it was it was this one that looked good. But I, you know what? I think that building looks great. I really like the look of that. Because we could also just shift it over and then do continue on that road. So we'll shift this down, go like that, and then grab this road, yeah, turn, and then let's go look at that first office building, that eco one that just looked great. Yeah, because now what if we do that? So let's grab these, all the nodes, and move it back. Yeah, you know what? I like that look. It's definitely like a little bit of a compound. I really like this entrance though, and I think this is a, oh, it's an office too. Look at that, 500 jobs. That is crazy. We may need to go into Rico and drop that down because these are nuts. This has got 200 jobs too. Luckily, I mean, not a lot of these are actual office buildings. So like these ones are empty because this is a lot of jobs. This is getting pretty intense. And so, you know what? I, I feel like that's good right there. We could even add in a few couple more of these. So eco office, I just, I really like the look of these. I think this is just a fantastic look. Um, I really like this building though too, but we could also add in something up here too. Maybe we will curve this in and have it 
end right there. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab this. I feel like we could probably make it look better, but let's see if we can fit in another building in there and make it look okay. I mean, one of those eco offices looks great back here, but <laughs> just have the same office everywhere. Just uh, go ahead and pop them all down. Yeah, so I found another one in there. So if we go ahead and place this down, how does this look? You know, that actually looks pretty good. It's, it's definitely a little more dated. Yeah, Interspore. So, uh, you know, there's some some stuff on the front too. I don't know if those are supposed to be multi, like mixed use, but I like this glass back here. I think that's an interesting look. We could put like a little courtyard in there too. And you know what? I feel like that's probably pretty good. Again, we don't want to overdo this. And so the goal is to have space. So we have storage, we have a medical research facility. We have our main building right here. Then we have all these buildings as well. A couple offices, really big compound. I think it looks great. I really like the look of this. And so we do want to add in our own police department in here. Um, even though I don't know it would be, you know, function, I don't think it would be an actual county police department or city one. Um, this would be more just operated by the area. I think we're gonna go ahead and tuck these back here just so that we can get them out of that front entrance. Yeah, we'll go like that. And then we'll come up here and do the same thing. Well, let's go ahead and jump into paths and let's start connecting this up. And this really provides us a nice fun opportunity to do like some designs and stuff. And there we go. And so now let's go ahead and do a path in here as well. I want paths to go underneath these buildings. So we're going to come up here. We're going to come this way and then connect up. Nice. I feel like that's pretty good. And then I do want to have a couple paths in here as well. So we're going to have this go this way and then have it cut down and connect up. Perfect. I feel like that's probably pretty good. I, I wish that this one was a little bit better. Um, I also wish that this space was filled, but we're going to come through and uh, put in some pat, uh, put in some trees and stuff and kind of fill it in. I don't want it to all be filled. That was one thing with the laboratories is there was a lot of open space, everything. It wasn't really dense. And so now what I want to do is go ahead and put up a key wall here just to clean up the space a little bit. And I'm just going to do the standard non-walkable key wall. I don't really think that this needs to be any sort of like crazy designed one. Perfect. Super easy. And then let's go ahead and clean up that edge real quick. Looking pretty good. And then all I need to, all I need to do now is go ahead and level this out. So I want this to all be same level as up here. So I'm going to go ahead and control H on those buildings since I already know that they are at the correct height. We'll go like that. Yeah, there we go. And then control H. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and jump into the network multi-tool and go to the slope mode our lovely little leveling cheat. So we're going to go like that and then come up here, go like that. Perfect. Nice. I feel like that looks great. I really like the key wall design too. I think that that is fantastic. I think we'll go like this and then let's go ahead and have this curve and then end probably at our lovely security checkpoints. We'll have this go like right there and then we'll have this one go there as well. Nice. Look at that, man. We're really we're getting a lot done today. All right, and so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and put zoning off of this main street. I do wish it was kind of a little bit closer, but let's go ahead and do a lovely little frontage road off of this because this is going to turn into a somewhat high traffic road eventually, um, especially with all the commercial. I really wouldn't wanna put zoning directly on that street. So I think what we're going to do is follow a similar pattern to what we've been doing. We're going to put a, a frontage road right next to it. So we're going to go like this. And then what I'm going to do is come all the way down here. And I think we will start it like right there. And then I will jump in here now, go to create parallel mode. I'm going to follow this and go all the way down to there. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is literally just extend it out until it's at that node. Uh, we'll go like right there. Perfect. Hit enter. Nice. And so we do need to uh, clean that up real quick. Nice. It looks like that one connected. So we'll uh, come in here now and let's go like this. Perfect. Look at that. Nice. And so that already is going to provide us a nice little opportunity to do some residential and commercial areas in here. We're definitely going to have to intermingle it. So uh, it's going to be something where we'll probably jump back and forth. Maybe we'll do some commercial right here, even off that main road. I think that that's okay. But then we'll do uh, some low density commercial right there. And let's go ahead and switch to high density residential just because we can. And then while we're back here as well, this is really going to be the view with the waterfall. This would all be residential. This would be like primo residential as well. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and add in one little office in there. And then I think we will just sprinkle offices in here too. Um, and then we do need to put in some services back here. 
we have some services in there, but those are more uh, more tuned for the laboratory. And so I do want to make sure that these people have access to medical facilities as well as fire coverage and police coverage. That would be really important. So we'll come in here and I'm just going to spread these down. I'm going to do police coverage down here. We don't need a big one. And there we go. Nice. And so I'm going to go ahead and do water pipes real quick. Nice. And there we go. So I got water pipes in. These buildings should be good now and they're already coming in. Yeah, look at that. Nice. I think I'm going to go ahead and change the sun just to go to the opposite direction. So I'm going to jump into theme mixer, go to atmosphere and then just change my longitude just the direction. It changes the white balance because one of the tough parts about this game is just the buildings tend to be overly white a lot. And so if you just change the direction of the sun, it can really help out. Um, but I think that looks good now. I like the little cliff face right off the back too. I think that that's interesting. That would definitely be one of the draws of living in this area is having that cliff face. That would be a really nice amenity. Um, I do want to connect this up because we wouldn't want people to jump through here and use this as access because that's what it kind of looks like people are doing. So yeah, it looks like even the police, they're like cutting through here and yeah, that guy's gonna turn left. That would be bad. All right, so now what I wanna do is go ahead and add in some access over here. And I think what we're gonna do is add in a road. So if we come over here, I'm thinking either we have a road come this way and cut this way, or we have a road in the middle, which a road in the middle would actually be really nice. And it's something that you do see in real life too. So let's go ahead and draw this up. Let's go ahead and do a slope first. All right, slope in. And so now let's come in here and we're going to draw this road up. And let's go ahead and connect it probably like right there. And so what I'm thinking is we will jump into a one, one unit, one way road and we will grab it like this. So there's a turnaround right there. So I'm not really worried about providing a turnaround access point right here. I just want to get our one way roads out here. So we're gonna go like right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and copy it on this side as well. All right, and so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and connect these up. So I want it to go like right there and right there, perfect. And so I'm gonna jump into the network multi-tool, go to slope mode and create a nice slope on both these sides. Go like that, perfect, go like that, perfect. And then I'm actually going to go all the way down now and see if we can get an even better slope on that. Yeah, that's much better. So we'll go like that as well. And then I'm actually going to force ground piece on these two and voila, perfecto. And then let's go ahead and jump into node controller, go in here and just increase a little bit. We don't need to get that crazy, but like right there, perfect. And then it looks like we probably do need to flip one of these as well. Yeah, right here. And so now we have access down here, which is just fantastic. And so I do want to create a nice residential area in here. We already got some nice residences up here. And I want to do a nice boardwalk um, area and we'll probably even do a nice commercial area in here. Let's go ahead and do our one unit road across and then let's come down here and do the same thing. And then I'm just going to connect these up and there we go. And I decided to have this one go out a little bit further because I think we'll actually put in a little tram stop right here. This is gonna end up being a tram road. We have tram access right there. And so I really don't wanna miss out on all opportunity to have a tram access down here, especially since we do have tram access in here too. So we could probably connect this up. Let's go ahead and connect this road up too. I don't know why this isn't connected already. And so now what I'm thinking for this residential area, I wanna do like kind of a, just a whole community. So we're actually going to remove these trees again. And then let's go in here, go like that, perfect. And then we are going to level it out. And I think we're actually gonna choose this lower level again. I think right there is good. And then I'm actually going to go in here and smoothen this out. And then what I'm thinking, we could even encroach upon the, the highway a little bit. I don't know what else we're gonna do with this area because again like I really don't like building that close to the edge could have this road come up and actually connect up there that could be good just to create some through access so let's come up here and let's build this across let's anarchy this over here and then let's extend our railway tunnel and there we go that um that definitely looks better <laughs> that was pretty bad there for a second and so now let's go ahead and bring this out we're going to jump back into that road and I want to go straight. Yeah, there we go. And then let's go ahead and connect that up. And then I'm gonna jump back in here, choose our height that we knew was good, and then come up here and hit enter. And then let's see what that gave us. That gave us a monster. But uh, I think we can come in here and smoothen that out. We uh, we definitely wouldn't want that now. I think um, I think this looks more realistic. I think having that next to that isn't you know terrible. That is definitely something that does happen in real life where um, you're just right next to an edge or something like that. And so now I want to create basically all of this 
into a high rise condo residential area. And so what we're gonna do is go ahead and start up here and we are going to have a nice curve road. We're gonna come up like right here and then we're gonna come down and go like right there. And then we're gonna have this go straight. Perfect, nice. And so now we have some nice access in here. Let's go ahead and do a crossroad in here as well. We're gonna go like right there. I think we're gonna turn this into a nice little commercial center. I think that's really good. It's a really functional layout. Um, we do need to probably provide a little more access this way, but maybe we'll just do paths. I really like that this is gonna have a lot of green space and walking area. I think we may even turn this all into a park and do the middle sections as park space. I really like neighborhoods like that. I think that is just a great addition. So now what I wanna do is jump over here and grab our lovely tram road that we've been doing. And I wanna do four lane tram road boulevard with bikes. I think this is just such an awesome little tram road. Let's upgrade this just to make sure. Yeah, it is. And so this road actually um, has awesome little stops too when they go in. So I'm just gonna upgrade this all the way down. Perfect. And so I went ahead and upgraded this road coming all the way down and then all the way up here to a tram road. But then I went ahead and upgraded our couplet as well, just so that we could have tram access coming from this area. So now we can have a full loop around. And I think that is just gonna be great access for this area. And so now I do want to do paths first. So I think we're going to paint this all as a park area. I think that'll be good right there. And then I do want to paint this as a district as well. So we're going to paint this as a separate district. And then we're actually going to paint the, the laboratory as its own district along with just the front section. And then I do want to paint this into a district as well. So if you guys have any fun names for the laboratory, go ahead and let me know. Um, something maybe volcano related, um, anything like that. Um, I love it. I think it is just great. Now what I want to do is do our paths in here now that we, um, oh, and you know, it's so funny. I, I wanted to do this self-sufficient because this is going to be a, a little bit of a nicer neighborhood. We could do organic and local produce on this section though. I think that'll be good. Yeah, we'll go ahead and make that organic and local produce. And then let's um, go ahead and do our paths like I was saying. So let's come in here and let's uh, connect these up. So I want to do like gazebo access in here too. So we're going to go all the way down, follow this across, and then we're gonna put crossings in here too. And I want this to follow along with the road. All right, and so I think that looks really good. I think it's a, a pretty nice design and it's very functional, which is what we're trying to do. We're trying to provide that much needed access. And so now I do wanna do a nice schooling area in here. And so what I wanna do is a combined elementary and high school. So we're gonna go ahead and go like that. And then we are gonna do a sports hall and gymnasium in the middle we'll go like right there yeah perfect and then what we're going to do is go ahead and do our sports parks across the street and i want to try to get in a little more than we normally do in here so we're going to go ahead and grab this all right and so i got a couple new tennis courts off the steam workshop i think these things are just fantastic they don't really i'm guessing there's just a gate that opens and so we'll do a little path on this side so we are going to grab a path and go this way nice i think that that is perfect and then I got a little soccer uh, stadium as well. So we're going to go ahead and place that right there. And then I do want to move this. I'm going to go ahead and shift it this way. Nice. Look at this. Perfect. I feel like this is just going to be such a great little addition for the area. I like this soccer stadium too. I think that is fantastic. I love the, the textures or the, the height differences on these two. I think these are great. I do want to upgrade this path though. This just looks a little weird. So I'm actually going to force it to be an elevated piece. Yeah, I go like that's just so we can get a ramp in there. Having it like that would just be really weird. And so I think this is probably pretty good. I think doing a playground might be good. So maybe we'll come back in here. Let's see if I got anything else that's good. I mean, we got the track. It's really large though, so I don't know if it would be good. And then I just got other colored um, tennis courts. So maybe we'll add in the basketball court too. I feel like that could be good. So we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and uh, and turn that. We could actually add this in on the other side. And so now we have a, a nice little, I mean, academic area. I feel like this is going to be great. Oh, look at that. Our ore industry hit the next unlock. That's crazy. So now we got the fiberglass plant, ore industry maintenance building, which is just fantastic. Ore mine underground. I mean, that's really, we're, uh, our ore area is getting there. But now what I want to do is place down some services. So we would need want to go ahead and do medical in here. Let's go ahead and we'll put them off this little main road. We'll go like right there. We're going to do a little neighborhood fire station as well. And then we're going to go ahead and put a police station more on this side. And so now let's jump in here and I want to do a couple of the community pools. I really like these assets. I think they are just so great to have. 
and they are uh, definitely amenities that people would love to have in in like high rise areas. Like normally, I mean, you would probably have um, a pool within your building, but um, let's just say that they don't. And so what they have is is these little areas. And so I did two of the yoga gardens, and then we're doing two of the saunas. It's, it's a lot. They're expensive buildings. Like these alone um, can cost quite a bit. I think for our budget, yeah, our budget's one hundred and ten thousand in medical costs. And it's mostly because of those uh, saunas and stuff. And so now what I want to do is come in here. Let's zone all this in. And there we go. So I ended up doing high density commercial down here just because it's right off the main road. And I, I really like the different looks that we're going to get. Um, even though they're all high density, they will all be tall buildings. Um, I, I feel like it's going to be a nice look in here. And so I do want to sneak in our main gate. And it's so funny. I recently saw an asset for a main gate without an entrance. And I think we need to get it because... I just keep plopping those down and then uh, not really doing anything with them. It's kind of kind of dumb. We're going to go ahead and um, place down some plazas just in a couple little random places. I want to place them in the open spaces, um, but then also like in some of these corners. And these would just be areas where you can kind of hang out, just have a good time. And I think we will come back and remove some of this zoning too. So we'll probably come in, remove that, remove that. Let's go ahead and remove that as well. And these will just be um, park space areas. So we'll go ahead and remove that too. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Let's go ahead and remove this one too, just so we can have a nice park area right there. And then let's come in here and let's look at, so a, one chest area would be nice. We'll go ahead and do, ooh, where are we gonna put this? You know what, let's go ahead and put it right here and we're going to remove a zoning right here because I think this could be a really nice amenity in there. And then I just wanna place a couple gazebos. And this is something that you can do to, um, to kind of boost your uh, city because I believe every single one of these gazebos, you see the green circle around the outside, it has like a an area of effect for uh, park status. So it increases land value, which is just fantastic. It's really good for your cities, especially if you're trying to upgrade an area like rather quickly. So we'll come in here and then let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna do the same thing. Nice. And we are just coming along. I feel like this is really good. Um, and then we're gonna come back through and probably add in some more paths and trees and stuff. Let's go ahead and unpause though and let these buildings start growing in. I do need to do water pipes real quick though. And perfect, water pipes in. So now we should start getting our buildings in. Yeah, they're coming in now, nice. And so I do want to create a little tram stop down here. I think we're gonna do some commercial. Let's go ahead and do one row of commercial like that. And then let's make sure they have water, they do. And then let's jump in here, go to a tram road, and we're gonna do a one unit tram road when it's only gonna be one way. No, we're gonna have to do a two unit. I think we can squeeze it in here though. So we will come up over here. Yeah, we can, perfect. So if we follow the road, yeah, we'll go like this and then let's have it curve in and then we'll have it curve in again. I really like these style tram, tram stops. I think they're just fantastic. And it's definitely something you see in cities like uh, trams have a lot more maneuverability over other forms of mass, tra mass transit other than buses. Um, buses are definitely the most maneuverable. Go ahead and go like that. Yeah, perfect. Nice. I feel like this is great. We'll go ahead and do uh, some concrete in here and then put in a nice couple benches and stuff. Just make it into a nice area. All right, and so I think that looks pretty good. And so what I do want to do is provide a little bit of access for this um, this water, this key over here. So we're going to go ahead and go like this and we're going to come up over here and just do a couple connections across and perfect. And so I ended up extending the key wall out this way as well. And so now we have lovely access going all the way down. And I think this is just fantastic. It's so funny because our laboratory has all those uh, those offices. I don't know how long it's going to take before these grow out. I do want to place in a couple parks on this um, these roads, though. So I think we're going to come in here. Let's go ahead and turn off Anarchy. We'll go like that. Let's go ahead and place one down here. Yeah, we'll go like right there. Let's go ahead and place one right here as well. I don't know why that commercial is not growing. We just don't have a ton of commercial demand right now either. But um, once this residential grows out, our demand will come back. And we could even, since we got that commercial area up there, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and turn this into more residential. So our residential demand was really high. So... That could definitely be the problem. And so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna get a little crazy with it and I will be right back with you.
Okay, and so after probably about an hour of detailing him, I kept going back and forth over a lot of it. And here I just did trees. I filled it all in, covered up the lines, made it look really good. I, I think it looks good. It looks natural. Um, but then here I created a couple little spaces. So I did a plaza back here and it's kind of funny. I did the tiles and the, and the tiles covered up our little curb here. And I'm not really sure how I, uh, if I like it or not. Um, I didn't really want to go back and have to shift all the tiles though. So I was like, you know, we'll roll with it and we'll see how it looks. It's interesting. It's different. Um, I decided to do a bunch of rocks in here too. And then I wanted to do a pattern along this kind of curved road. And I think it looks really good. And, and then I did dense forest around the outside. I think it looks really good. Um, I think this looks really good too. I really like this neighborhood. And honestly, it's probably gonna be a little while till it's all built up. Our demand has slowly creeped back up, but now we're at almost, I mean, 110,000, 107,000. So this um, really boosted up our residential, our population quite a bit. And then down here, I went ahead and just put a couple planters in here, just some seating areas for people to wait for the tram when it comes. And then I did planters all the way down our uh, little frontage road up here just to create a nice walking area for people who are living in here. And there's not really um, a bunch of areas close by to walk to, but it would still be a really nice walk. Like if you were jogging or something like that, um, especially with the waterfall right here, like this would just be fantastic. You'd see the cable cars kind of running by. It'd be a really cool view. Um, honestly, that would be the reason to live here. And so um, I think it looks really good. I, uh, I really like this laboratory. I'm kind of wish there was more laboratory assets, but I think we did good with what we did. And so I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. We do need to hook up our tram lines real quick. So I'm going to jump in here and go to tram lines, grab this. And I think what we're going to do, we're going to go over here and there's, oh, there's actually an empty line. So we're going to have this go this way. And then what we're going to do is have it stop up here. And then I'm having it stop this direction in our little, in our uh, little station. Have it go right there. Come down. Perfect. Nice. Uh, this is just going to be such a great little line. And then we actually have a station right here as well. So I think we're going to have it come up this way and then stop on the other side of the road and then loop back. And so we will add stop right there. And then we are just going to go all the way back now. Fantastic. And so now we have a loop that basically starts at this station in our tech downtown, comes this way, loops all the way around the new area, stops at our little mini transfer center right here, comes down to our other uh, stadium transfer center over here, then loops back and then comes over here. And so now this entire neighborhood and our laboratory has access to the outside world. And I think it is just fantastic. And I believe that was our 24th tram line. We're really, uh, we really got crazy with trams in this one. It's so funny. I, I even stopped giving up, on, like stopped doing colors at some point. I was like, you know, it's just, it's too much at this point. And so I think I did actually get a new tram line though. So let's choose that new one and let's see what it gives us. Cause I was kind of shopping around for different trams. I was like, you know, it'd be cool if we could get like a, a unique one in here. So let's actually jump to it and see what it looks like. Ooh, you know what? Those are fancy. Let's actually pause. I like that. Those are legit. Ooh, man. And I think these are actually from somewhere. Metrover. Flex City Classic Ride Metrover. Maybe these ones weren't exactly from a city. But look at this. It's even got like little stop info on the side. And then the good thing is it picks up 120 people now. So this is just fantastic. We can really cut down on our tram population, which is great. And so I think we're actually going to get a little crazy. We're going to drop this down to uh, we'll say 15 and then we're actually going to jump back into our tram menu and we're going to change all of our all of our trams to that new tram because they up the capacity from 90 to 120 which is going to help us to um, drop that tram those tram lines down those trams in this city have definitely been an issue for us um a lot of the traffic problems we've had have stemmed from trams um, just because trams whenever they're making turns um, tend to cut in front of traffic and so i think that's why even in real life trams will technically have their own lights a lot of times and so if they need to turn nobody else is turning while a tram is turning and so it just makes it a little bit safer because in this game like if a tram is in the middle of the street, like these, this new line that we did, well, if they need to turn right, like they're obviously not in the right turn lane. And so they have to turn right in front of somebody potentially turning right and potentially somebody going straight. Um, and so it tends to be an issue. And then if you have the tram lines that are on the right side of the road, it's the same problem, but with left turns. And so if they need to turn left, they're going to cut in front of people who are turning left and going straight. And so it's kind of a headache. Um, it's definitely something that you just got to deal with if you play with trams. And so now we should start getting just a crazy amount of trams coming out of here. So they're all going home. Yeah, look at this. This poor Home Depot uh, Black & Decker truck is like, what's happening? Where are all these trams coming from? 
but the new textures on these two just look so much better than than the standard ones like this is a great tram now we've really upgraded our our tram game a whole lot but now we'll be able to um just drop our tram usage down probably i mean quite a bit um, bumping it up to 120 is going to really help us out so if we even go in there and look at our most pass or biggest line so 312 so i mean there's a lot of people waiting it's got 15 oh is this our new one no 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 22 so what line is this Ooh, it's, i mean it's one of our newer ones it's the one that goes to our uh, one of the ones that goes here Ooh, it actually is over here so i wonder if that one I mean, this is the new line. It's already looking pretty busy, but I wonder why we're getting so many people. What's going on here? Ooh, uh, let's let's check our, uh, our health percentage. Ooh, so we got something crazy happening here. There's like just all these ambulances. What's happening? Are we going through like a death wave or something? Or is it just this area? Like that area is just not doing great. Are these people, you know, we got to check pollution. Ooh, okay. So we, because we moved that trash service, um, we need to dezone this. Yeah, we got to do that. That's a good thing we checked this. So we're going to go like that. And then let's go ahead and make it commercial. Commercial tends to not, not care as much. Actually, you know, let's actually turn it into a park. We'll do that. I think that that'll be better. Kind of got a little sidetracked here, but it's good that we're, you know, looking at the city because these are things that, that I don't often look at. And so you tend to catch little issues like that, like that one, you know, in particular. And so now I think that's good. Um, I think our tram should be populating more. Let's um, jump back in there. So I want to see if they start picking them up more. I mean, they're just getting all stuck in traffic. Um, our traffic is still pretty high, yeah, 83. And it's kind of funny. I don't often mention it, but for a lot of my new viewers, I don't play with despawning on, which is a feature within Traffic Manager. It really helps you to uh, stress test your city. So if you're ever wondering like how bad your traffic is, um, this is all bad because of our trams right now. Go ahead and jump into Traffic Manager and turn on that hard mode. And what it does is it really will tell you about any like weak spots in your city, any areas where maybe the grid just isn't working as well, or you don't have like great accessibility. So even like this right here, this being the only avenue to a pretty large little cargo hub, um, it's telling us that there's a problem. Maybe we should add in another outlet somewhere or uh, something like that. And so um, it's a great feature, one that will definitely help you out with um, any traffic management issues. And so I definitely recommend it if you want to uh, better optimize your cities. I've, I've learned a ton with it. Um, I think our area looks really good and I love those new trams. When it looks like we already got them over here too. So yeah, look at this. This is just fantastic. This looks so great. I love it. I like this new area too. All right, and so I think this is fantastic. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you enjoyed the episode, please consider liking it. It really does help me out a lot. If you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much. I will see you on Wednesday.